the century is drawing to a close, and the future looks rosy for transport magnates. The Iron Curtain is falling. East and West are coming together cautiously. Europe is coalescing. One woman known respectfully by both friend and foe as the Iron Lady has done capitalism a major service. She has shrunk the welfare state, pulverized the unions, and placed public enterprises in the hands of private business. Ideal conditions for new projects. Alrighty, everybody, you heard it right there. The English Channel, the final mission in the Europe campaign. Uh, we don't we don't have any of the medals right yet, but we're going to try to get them all good timing, profitable, shaking hands, x-ray vision, and redrilled. have no idea we're jumping into this one blind. Isn't that a good way to finish off all the uh, missions and campaigns? So hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Finally, it can begin. The tunnel was actually supposed to have been built ages ago, but the last time it was attempted, there suddenly wasn't any money for it, stupidly. But everyone's in good spirits this time especially our investors. But we're waiting on government grants in vain. Mrs. Thatcher will not grant us any. However, unemployment is high and workers are cheap. Let's make sure we can get the goods we need for construction at a low price too. All right, welcome, welcome everybody. We're jumping in here. Can you believe it, mission seven? We're, we're here, the final mission of the Europe campaign. Uh, I've been holding off on this one. Uh, just, just you know, didn't want to complete it. Because when I f finish this, this is going to be full medals. Uh, all gold for both America and Europe campaign. It's going to be some Steam achievements. I'm going to be enjoying it. But we have some stuff to do here before we call it a success. We still need to see to it that we get things going to the steel mill and the sawmill. So I have taken the pleasure of already loading this up and building out some lines. So let's start and look at what we got to deal with here. Here's our steel mill. The Dunkirk steel mill. Nice uh, re recovering from the wars and such. And uh, what we have going on here is we need, of course, this ain't no new rodeo to us. We need the iron ore and we need the coal. Luckily, check this out. Iron ore, right here. Now, on the flip side, which is the unfortunate side, is uh, we need coal. So I have this line one set up, which is boats. Boaty McBoatface coming on back. Because unfortunately, look at this, the coal mine is all the way over here. So again, I've already taken the liberty of setting up all the lines. Check it out, lines. Lines are happening. Uh, we have a boat line, we have a wood line, we've got... Uh, all kinds of other things going because I just got to get the, the production underway. Not too worried about it. As for the sawmill, uh, we're pretty lucky. We have uh, the Canterbury Forest up here, which, uh, let's see, do we need to run? Do we need to run some wood lines? Yes, we do. Okay, I have this set up, but we need to buy. Some vehicles here. We're gonna set these to the wood line. So we have the wood line hooked up. We have line four. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through and name them. I don't think I have them all named later, but this is gonna be the uh, uh, coal to boat. Cause that's what that's all about. Uh, line one is, you know, shipping uh, coal and more in the future. Uh, line two, let's have a look. Line two is our coal to factory. That's cool. Uh, line three, sorry, had it wrong. Coal to factory. Uh, line whatever, coal to factory is actually iron ore. Straight up, because that's all it does. I'm going to even make it more of an iron ore color. There we go. So we have iron ore coming in. We have coal on the way. Because uh, that's going to be delivering these guys. We need to... I'm preemptively thinking about the planks here. Of course, it's, it's part of the goal. Producing planks. But we're going to have to get these planks to go somewhere. And that's going to be, my friends going from 
I gotta get it to the docks. So let's go ahead and buy three. Set line. New line from there to there. This new line's gonna be called uh, Planks to Boat. Look at me all naming stuff. You'll see later that I don't have it named, but how I have it saved. It's all proper. I haven't played it all the way through. We're going to play it. The recording of the finishing is going to happen together. But I do have a few saves already planned out to be jumping ahead. Because this one's a lot more of balance compared to, uh, you know, always micromanaging everything. So there's some downtime where I'm just, like, letting the clock run at full speed. Uh, but I did want to bring you guys in right here about making the preparations. And I think everything's going to go well. I'm going to jump you ahead pretty far here. I think we're going to go into the later 1970s once I have this running. And uh, we're going to have the drama of connecting the tunnels. So, spoilers, not really. Uh, we're going to have to get the, the machines here. And we're going to have to deliver the machines to both uh, the French side and the English side. Also in a timely manner and a balanced manner. Uh, so that's all pretty interesting. Uh, so I'm going to bring you guys back. Probably not in the 80s. I bet a few years later in the 70s. And uh, we're going to go from there. So hold on tight, everybody. Let's do that transport fever time warp. Oh, yeah. You guys know. Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're a little bit in the future here. 1971. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about making preparations. Uh, this is going to be... Because we're going for all the metals. Uh, there's a little sneaky thing here to do this X-ray vision explore, the sea belt. She bird. Uh, what I want to do is, I know this seems strange, but we're going to put a stop on the ship holding our uh, coal, uh, which is going to hold up the steel production. That's all right. I do want to go ahead and build. We uh, Ignore this, because this happened already. I already bought lines for the wood lines, and th some things didn't happen there, but that's okay. That's okay, moving on forward. So we're, gonna, we're working on getting these completed. However, we're going to get a message, I think, once we complete one or the other. So I'm wanting that to be... Let's go ahead and produce some planks here. We're going full speed. These guys are going as fast as they can in the horrible traffic. Oh my goodness, look at this. So things I'm going to work on in the future. Expand out, add some bus lanes... Uh, if needed, because to be honest, I actually don't travel on this road very often. So there we go, picking up some wood. And follow this guy back, get some close-in views, even though we're going full speed. Watch out, everybody. Coming through. Coming through with that good old hardwood. Turn this stuff into planks. So excited, so excited. I can't, I can't even can't even hold back my excitement for Transport Fever 2. I mean, I'm, I'm holding back. I'm doing all right. But here we go. Let's produce some planks here. Let's get a little checkbox. There the we go. The geology of the English Channel is mostly known. In the interest of safety, however, we should still examine the nature of the seabed so there are no mishaps. After all, it was the fear of something disastrous happening that prevented our predecessors from undertaking this project time and again. And they didn't just mean the invasion by continental Europeans. All right. So, we got a circle. Big old circle. And we got to go explore it. They're giving us a special ship. Uh, let's see. Finish the task. All right. So, we're going to go to our boat depot. And top one right here. Notice these all cost some cashola. This top one right here is free. The mesh ship. And, uh... You're going to buy this one here. And what you're going to do, and notice this, look at my lines. I have line one, goes right through the circle. If not, you're going to need to put some depots around because you can't manually drive the ships, right? So you're going to need to put the ship on a line and uh, then launch them on out there. Now, the other thing is, is he needs to explore the seabed for 60 days. The next thing, that this is why it's a little bit tricky. If you complete the steelworks preparation and the lumber mill preparation, it uh, it closes out the explore the seabed mission, and it just moves right on, and you don't get the metal. 
So, make sure you either hold off on the, uh, right, have I, have I delivered any? No, good. Hold off on the delivery of either the planks, if you're going to get the steel line running, or get the steel line running and hold off, you know, other way around. Anyway, only get one check mark. So what we're going to do here, takes these guys a little while to slow down. But I'm going to let him move up here pretty far, and then I'm going to say reverse your engines on the uh, line, because he's going to go all the way there and dock if I don't. I'm going to say turn around. I'm going to say stop already. Let's see if I can time this right. See, 33, 30. Yeah, he's going to be in the circle. 28, 27. It's a boat, folks. It doesn't just stop on a dime. Uh, it doesn't even stop on a football field here. It's, um... See, look at that. If I would have waited here to stop, he would have probably rolled all the way out of the circle. So as soon as this guy stops, look at that. He hit slow speed. And we're getting days explored. So we got to hit 60 days explored. Before we release the man of coal. So good, 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 good. Things are happening. And then we're going to get to constructing and the balance will begin. I'm excited for it. So this should help us with x-ray vision. We've got four more days to go. There it is, x-ray vision. Nothing even special to say about that, buddy. You just, it just happened. Cool, all right. Well, nothing from the commentator. Cause he's just so common and um, smells of potato. Ship 2 is done now. You can send it home. You can do whatever. Um, I'm going to just say, yeah, go sell it for free. Because we didn't buy it for any money. And I'm going to bring you guys back in the future. But hold on. Let's go ahead and um, dive this guy forward. So we can really uh, make sure we know what we got to be doing here. I'm telling you, we're going to be delivering the steel and the planks to make it the machines. And then we got to send the machines to the English side. And the French side. That's a little bit of spoilers of five minutes ahead. But we've got to get this boat docked. And uh, look at these horrible hills. That's one reason. If you haven't seen the Transport Fever 2 trailer yet, you got to go check it out. I might even post it at the end of this one because this is like the finale of the campaign. We've already knocked out America. And uh, slowly but surely we've been... Uh, Knocking out Europe here. And this is this is it, folks. We're kind of taking all the knowledge that we've learned. And we're putting it all together. I did have more plans with Transport Fever series. Modded series and that. But, I mean, Transport Fever 2 is right around the corner. So you guys are going to have to talk me into it. Like, I was thinking about a modded series where all the mods I use are only 5-star mods. No, nothing below that. I thought that would be pretty cool. Did you get it? Did you get a load, buddy? You. You. You! You! Yeah, you did. <coughs> Here we go. Steel works. Time to produce. Check box. The resources are ready, and so the tunneling machines designed especially for this endeavor can be constructed. They are outright factories that dig completely autonomously and transport away debris and secure the tunnel walls. Long live modern technology. Let's not waste any time and ensure that the squads on either side of the channel meet in the middle quickly. This way we'll avoid any unnecessary costs. And that is absolutely necessary. Our first financial backers are already threatening to jump. We've got to worry about ensuring that both tunnels are completed within a month. But then we're going to have to find out about redrilled, improve the tunneling machines. So that's probably something we're going to have to deal with in the future. Plus, we want to get by without any additional grants. I have a feeling I'm going to be able to drop some cash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a train line to go ahead and start making us extra money. I think we're going to make money off of all this commercial goods stuff, but uh, or industrial tunneling because they're still paying us for our work. But I want to get a train line going. Something very simple. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in the future. You guys hold on tight. Let's do this. Drill factories is now complete. Now that we have everything established, which is fantastic, it's about getting it done together working together teamwork come on french and english let's do this 
And uh, we got to deliver the machines from the drill factory to the Dover Tunnel construction site and to the Calais Tunnel construction, which is over here. Here's the Dover site, as we know. Right? Right, right. And we've got to get the steel, which, you know, don't forget, it's coming from right here. Here's the steel. The machine factory. Not the steel, sorry. The actual machines. The steel we already have all connected and everything's going fantastic. I do think I'm going to transition my uh, coal, which I have being uh, directed over here. I'm going to go ahead and have my trucks that are bringing the steel this way go ahead and bring the coal back uh, that away. So I, you can see I'm already starting to work this system, uh, which is going to be um, just the boats on this line. All right, so we're only going to have line 10 going instead of line 1 as well. Uh, I think it's going to be fast enough. We shall see. We've got to hit a thousand each on the tunnel dig. So I'm going to bring you back uh, in a few years. We have some time. Remember, uh, we need this is this phase, the second phase. Uh, it's projected to take uh, 18 years. So we have a little bit of time uh, to knock this out. And I'm not going to take this loan as that is uh, getting by without additional grants. So I'll bring you back in the future. I do appreciate you guys hanging on tight for the uh, fast forwards, but there's really not much going on. I know there looks like there's a lot going on, uh, but it's really just um, calming it down with, uh, you know, adding more uh, trucks where I see there's demand. Like up here, I could easily add some more trucks to line eight. Uh, however, I'm doing so good. Uh, that, that's why you're seeing that extra supply up there. So I'll bring you back if anything happens. And uh, here's trucking towards the 80s. I'll see you guys soon. Let's do this. Let's go, Bodie McBoatface. Alrighty, alrighty, everybody. So, some good news. Uh, we are going to be continuing on here. One thing I just oddly noticed was that the English Channel, because of some drama... Uh, trying to cause some problems, and it's it made it to where we're going to need 1,200 uh, in the uh, the tunnel dig on the English side. However, uh, we just had this pop up in uh, 1980 that a mechanical engineer has promised to optimize our machines to cut through the hardest rock like butter. Uh, we need to deliver some of our machines that we're producing now uh, so he can test his adjustments in practice. So to the lab... Seems to be hiding over here. Geological Institute. I have already put down a bus stop. Uh, what do we don't have? Oh, I do, because I'm on top of it. Is having a line here. As you can see, everything was not named. Poor me. Uh, so this guy's going to be hitting up the Dover sightings, and he's going to wait there for that full load. So we're going to get this move in here. We can even see him. He's called Special, because he's so special. And uh, what we're hoping here, nice, is we're going to see with these boat deliveries. And I'm really hoping. Uh, line 13 is our normal uh, line 4. Uh, Mac. Mac to English. Uh tunnel okay uh, line nine we know this planks to boat because I just named that five seconds ago to you guys and uh, line four is over here as well this is uh, cold to boat sorry for the renamings in front of you all and line one is special but that's why we're here uh, I'm hoping 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 yes Yas, where'd it go? Where's my special car, everybody? Where'd my special car go? Uh, visible only. There it is, special. I was looking for number one. Um, is it you? Is it you? There you are. Sixteen tools, machines, even. 
tools or wrenches, Monty. Here we go. We're going to go full speed here. We're going to follow Mr. Special. Because he's special. And uh, knock out this delivering of the machines and see how this does for us. I don't know. I built this up, and this is as far in the saves moving forward as I have in the episode. We've done some time warps. And I'm sure I'm going to do another time warp after this happens. I'm just letting you know. I haven't, myself, haven't actually played forward yet. So, uh, once we get this going, we'll see what happens. This should get us a gold medal, by the way. Um, X-ray exploring the seabed. That was just clicking around. Yeah, I forgot to show that one. So, we'll probably go back and show that off real quick. I say I forgot, but I've probably already in the future gone back and fixed it so I probably didn't forget I, I'll go back and show you guys how to do that so forget I said anything moving forward moving on special truck getting there getting there you guys I'm so excited you guys see the trailer yet TF2 coming quarter 4 2019 with no delays there we go the engineer was successful metals Even more successful than expected Ooh. the number of machines required at both tunnel construction sites has been reduced nice all right so that was kind of a tricky roo they're like oh it's going to be 1200 and then all of a sudden if you knock this out outstanding we just went to 900 on each so 1982 we're doing okay on time now we only need 900. The careful thing here we got to be is make sure that the French and English channel finish uh, within an interval of no more than one month. Uh, I don't think that's going to be difficult. Uh, I'm controlling the flow of trucks here. Line 14, which we're going to call the French machine. Uh, that's what's happening over here. I can always look at it, look at the French machine. I did build up a, a train line just to make some extra cash, and it's doing fantastic, as you can see. Four million in the bank. Magnet to where I don't need to take any loans out. Not even gonna touch that button. Um, but yeah, at any time I could say the French machine, which only has one truck on it, to just stop and uh, wait for the English channel to catch up, which is basically what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I don't believe anything else. Like I said, I, this is all new to me now. I haven't played forward. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to wait on the balance, but that's what I thought before. And then the English and French had some drama, and we had to get these special tools, which I should have noticed re-drilling improved the tunneling machines, that something was going to happen. Uh, so thanks for holding on tight. Here's that next time warp I was talking about. Look at that. I even built a little tunnel here. Built some nice curves, trying to keep the flow going. And as I mentioned before, look at this. This is now no longer in operation over here. I mean, I, to the point of I could... I could blow all this up like it never happened. It's never happened, everybody. We never made these mistakes. Don't do as I do, do as I don't do. Anyway, it'll probably work out better for you. Uh, yeah, because now we're moving everything on uh, the boat, the boat line, which is very dark gray, not showing much. But these boats are pretty awesome. For the most part, I have them all working automatic. I have one of them forced to do planks. And uh, actually, I think two of them are forced to have some slots of machines just so they made sure to still transfer these. But yeah, 500. On the French side, 360 on the English side. I feel like we're going to catch up here because we're hauling boatloads compared to a single truck. Uh, as you can see, even over here now, uh, we have... Actually, what, what line is this going to be for? The Mac to English Tunnel? Yeah, you know what? We're going to buy two more now that we have enough going on over here. Mac to English Tunnel. And I will bring you back in the future. Because the future is where it's at. And uh, hopefully we're going to knock this out in time and balance. Because that's it, folks. That is it. I'm pretty sure we've already done profitable. We're making that money and we're not taking out the loans. So good timing. Shaking hands.
Can we do it? I hope so. I really do, because I want all the metals. And uh, let's let's warp. Hold on tight. Alrighty, hey everybody. Super stressed. June 1987. We have 898 uh, goods. The the truck is stopped. He's been stopped for like a year. Waiting for the English construction to catch up. This boat right here, my friends, just dropped off, I believe, the 51 machines that we're going to need to finish off this side. So I'm hoping 1987 is going to be fast enough for good timing. I mean, it said 18 years to probably complete this. I'm pretty sure we're under the time limit. Um, I'm really hoping we don't need to wait for this boat of 43 to really finish this off, because now I'm realizing I'm not sure I had so many so many trucks here. This just didn't fly the way I wanted it to. Now we got question marks of trucks here. I don't know what's happening. We just had 50 tool or machines supposedly get dropped off, and I'm not uh, not seeing them. There we go. Supply the English Channel. Oh no, they are getting dropped off. I just didn't see it going this faster speed. 878, 880, 880. Oh, are we gonna tip it? Are we gonna tip it? Should we get moving? We should. 1890. Oh no, look at that. We're gonna have to unfortunately wait. I'm going to let this guy go by. I don't think we're going to be able to hit it by 1987, folks. Three short. Now, I can tell you how I messed up, too, and I know I can fix it. Is as soon as we delivered those ten... Uh, you stop. You stop, buddy. As soon as we delivered the ten machines up to this special, I didn't cancel that line fast enough, and all the machines, instead of going to the depot, were going to that special line which caused all kinds of trouble. I can't believe we're three short right now and it's October. We have the, they're right here. They're on this boat. Oh, you know what? You know what? They're, it's worse than that. They're here. I just need to say, uh, go. Like, look at that. Don't wait for a full truck. This guy right here, no. Someone had it. Someone had, he had two of them. I had two. Okay, I was still one short. But, uh, yeah, I, I keep I had it on uh, only move if full. So that almost bit me. I can't believe it. 899, one short. They're on their way now. Fantastical times. But we made it to 1988. That one year might kill the metal, and I might have to go back. But I, I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. It's January. I'm going to wait until February. That's the month it's going to happen. Dropping off in the English Channel. It's still going to win for French. Sorry for doing so well. They win. We're going to drop this off right up here at the English Channel. Where are they? Anything going down? Come on, guys. Get out of the way. What are you guys waiting up for? Get you going. Get you going, going, going. There's some cash. There it was. It's done. The tunnel is complete. Now all we have to do is stop the English from hating the tunnel. The newspapers are full of horror stories about invasions of killer moths. It appears Outstanding. That people's fears are unfounded. The queen brought back neither killer moths nor rabid rats on the grand inaugural journey through the tunnel, but merely the French prime minister. We have a completely different problem. Construction costs are twice as high as planned. On top of that, there are unexpectedly hefty maintenance costs. It'll be ages before this thing becomes profitable. Oh, so we have to transport passengers and any good and any goods through the tunnel. Um, all right, well, let's try to do um, machines. Let's let's try something here. Okay, I'm a little, I was a little surprised. Again, this is first time through, so I'm, I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm gonna go with just a normal platform here. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a country road straight up this way. Cargo stop here.
And we're going to bring back... Do you guys still want... Oh, see, I don't think they're going to want construction uh, materials anymore. So what we're going to do is change this line to be from here up to uh, here. Because this guy does still accept uh, machines at the Geological Institute. So if we have the machines going there, I, they could still accept machines here, but I'm doubting it. We have the trucks in line. I'm go ahead and add a uh, line transfer here. Now, what I'm unsure about is, do I have to uh, move passengers? Or is just moving the goods good enough? Because uh, what I want to do now here is instead of putting all the tools that way, or machines that way, oh, which I do still need to do, uh, I'm going to beef up the French line here, uh, set line to the French machine, because the French machine is bringing uh, machines over here, which going to be what I'm going to do uh, now with the train station right here. Let's see if this is going to connect. Yes, they're connected. Can I pull this off though? No. Can I delete this bit? Probably breaking everything by deleting some of the track, but we shall see. We shall see. And then just for fun, we're going to connect this in here. And we're going to use our existing train depot here. And I'm going to go get a no-hab. we got all the cash in the world. So wagons, we need to move machines. So let's do some of that and uh, set line new line going from here whoa up to there and hit play i think that's going to get our train to use it oh transport passengers through the tunnel 1000 uh transport goods through the tunnel 1000 so uh i'm gonna also have to get a passenger line going through here which is totally cool that's what this is about so let's build let's build Here's what I'm going to do here, as well as I'm going to keep the passenger line completely separate. We're going to go with this faster track. I'll upgrade that in a second. And then, uno momento. Nah, that's probably going to take a little bit more than uh, the one, the only. All right, let's go straight up here, and then let's go ahead and jump on ahead. Figure out where are we going to be dropping down a passenger station. I think I've done pretty good. I, I don't think I just put any cargoes where I should be putting passengers and passengers where I should be putting cargoes, but doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Actually, I think... Didn't want to lose the big building. All right, we're going to go high speed here. Connect it on up. All right, so you guys are going to be good. I'll add some bus systems as well. Cool thing now is it's all about profitable is good. Complete the preparation and excavation project phases in a timely manner. We didn't get it. And we already did the prep and excavation phase, and uh, I'm worried. I don't think we got all the metals, so we might have to go back and do that. How that, that would be my luck, right? We get them all done. We get all the gold medals on the final mission. No bueno. But if this goes my way, which it probably won't, I'm hoping we can get 
this going. So now that this is connected, let's also get by a train. Wow, that guy's good. That guy's 120. Forty class two eighteen. We got the cash and wagons. I should have just read that. What was that? One forty wagons. One forty. Put five of those on it. Set line. New line. From there. All the way to there. Boom, boom, boom. So we're going to be moving steel. Let's see if we can move stuff back the other way. So if I have that going, where is my train? There he is. Oh, no, you know what? I'm trying to remember what I can haul. Um... Oh, I clicked on the actual train there. By trains. Wagons. That one that I did with the machines. See, I need to move... Hmm. I also need to move... I could move planks. Going the other way. That's what I was hoping for. Planks one way instead of using the boat system. Kind of, that's the whole kind of point, right? Like... We have a tunnel here. We don't need to have ships going over that tunnel. Hmm. Wonder why I still have so many tools going that way. French machine has 127 tools waiting. That means it's working. So let's buy a lot more of those and go to the French machine. Uh, quickly, do I have something set here weird? No, I don't. Good. Why? Oh, why? Getting, I don't, I just the goods aren't showing up here yet. Yet. That's probably the problem. Coal steel. What else do I have going on over here? Okay, 99. 16. Alright, we're going to watch this guy. Because there's weird things happening. You know what it also took? It took the train. I forget how that works. It took the train coming all the way to this station. And as soon as the train got here, it went, hey, this line is in operation. And uh, now he's running. So that's that's true. That's what happened. I'm happy now. And there's already signals on the tunnel. So that's why the passenger line is going to run totally fine uh, alongside... Other guy. I'm going to put a signal here. And a signal here. Oh, we did have a crossover up here as well. But that's fine. Dover Sawmill's still fine. Not too worried. Uh, let's go ahead. Check out our new tunnel. It's a little loud. Heading into Hastings. Go we'll pick up a DVD. Rent a book. Oh, no. Hastings is an old bookshop from when I was younger. You know. If you know. Or you don't. Ooh, we got a little curve up here. Just testing out all the wonderful construction work of our. Oh, that's a little interesting. There we go. Here's our double track. Might even catch. No, I don't think we're going to catch our. Uh, our buddy heading the other way, but coming on out the English side. Good to get this tunnel complete. Again, I think if I did fail on the good timing, um, 
it's simply I had that special line running out here for too long. Um, so I could go back and easily fix that. Hastings does a nice flyby this way. Uh, I did transport 152 goods through the channel. Good to see. Uh, and if I can get some people using this line here, so if I add some buses and such, uh, I think things are going to be pretty good. So I will bring you folks in afterwards because we're running long on this episode, but I want to knock this one out in one. And uh, once we get this uh, transportation all filled up, we're going to keep on keeping on and hopefully get four out of five. I'm kind of bummed about good timing. So I'm going to go back and see if we can get that done in 87, if that's fast enough. If not, maybe it was even earlier. 18 years though, right? It's 1988. Using the tunnel does not sound like prepping and excavation. So I'm not too sure what year that actually has to be finished and uh, was hoping for not to do, uh, hoping not to do any spoilers and go to the guides or, or check it out. But we'll figure it out. I mean, come on now. It could have been our truck system. But uh, take one, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it ride. And we're, we're going to see how we do once we get um, all this transportation happening here. Uh, what I'm happy to see is two people waiting for our new new train line. Oh my goodness, this could take forever. Because we need a thousand people to take this line. Um, but what I'm going to do also on the other line now is retire these and uh, really upgrade a, a train on this other line as well. I'm just trying to think how I want to pull this off. Because if we can get some people coming from this line over here to go all the way across town under the river... I think we're going to be doing a lot better. So I'm going to think about some things. I'm going to mess with some stuff, let some time go by. The goods I'm not worried about, that's going uh, really well. As long as this still keeps on keeping on here. Getting paid right. The consumption is still there. I hope there's a demand because I don't know. If not, we're going to have to change it and run... Uh, planks and coal back and forth but it's got to be that right because we need the demand on the uh... oh look at that there is potential here I'm going to cancel this road um, I want all the machines to go on the line here now I see what was happening okay And that's why, did I get rid of this line for sure? I did, good. So, you know, I could keep, I'm gonna do this one at least, because it's all about transporting through the uh, tunnel. I'm gonna keep this guy attached. Let's see, is this? Yeah, it is. So, this guy should also supply this one and this guy. So that should up the demand. But again, I'm not too worried. I see more goods waiting. My, I did have a bigger worry because I'm not seeing a lot of, uh, okay, French machine. There is new machines being built. All right. Well, as we have the clown car song on, I'm going to transport ourselves into the future. Depends, since we're on the French side. Uh, where is it? Yeah, he's heading back with his one passenger. If we're only going to be moving one or two passengers back and forth, we're going to have some serious issues here. Hitting uh, a thousand. So, I got to get some buses going. We're going to set these lines. We're going to get things running here. And uh, I will catch you guys in the future. Hold on tight, everybody. Let's use the tunnel. Alrighty, alrighty. Welcome back, everybody, to the 90s, which happened only 10 years ago, um, in my mind. 
Uh, we, we have trains going. We have the goods done as far as the machines. The machines went well. Uh, as you can see, we have quite a few passenger lines going now. I have two trains going through the tunnel uh, heading over to Hastings. And then I added a brand new train line that has a train going um, from Dover over to uh, yeah, our uh, Calais Calais over here. Uh, anyway, also we, we upgraded the train line to have two tracks to avoid time troubles. And uh, I turned in our original line train. Whoa, it's a lot of red. Uh, for all kinds of other things, such as a new train right here. Going through the forest. You're going to see him. Look at the beautiful town up over top. Slow it on down because sometimes you got to just slow it down and watch the train. good so we're gonna hang on over here the two lines are gonna work out well for us zoom in enough to where we don't see all the resources Love that passenger line having to do a nice little close-up checking out all the machines coming on up here we're gonna smooth it on out everybody smooth it on out happy happy hills so look at that coming on in together folks beautiful oh guys can't handle it can't handle the beauty of the train goodness so yeah i'm just bringing you guys back we're gonna go full speed ahead we need to transport a thousand folks under the hill and through the woods and over the tunnel we go reverse that flip it and say that in all different kinds of ways and it'll all make sense friends it'll all make sense but uh 500 we're doing almost hundreds at a time because we're getting the passengers coming back the other way. Dover and Hastings. The French and English connection, my friends. We have done it. I don't think we're going to hit all five medals. I think I think for our first attempt, we failed. Uh, good timing. I just don't know if it's going to happen. Profitable, we should get. I didn't take a grant out. It's offering me to take out money. Take out a loan, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I mean, if I had loans, I would repay them. Oh, I do have 30 million, but can't repay. That's the, I think, initial loan. I didn't take it, I promise. It's probably all broken. Oh, look at that. Line two is really starting to pick up 50 at a time. And I'll show you why. I have buses over here. I need to add buses to Dover. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for like a movie of an episode here. Movie madness. Transport fever time. Put a bus stop there, put a bus stop there, and we're going to put a bus stop over here. I like my triple threat stops. And then we're going to buy one of those. New line from the station over there. Buy new over there, over there, and then one more is new, from right there to right there, and then delete to close everything, 640 passengers passenged, and uh, I had a problem, if, 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 I know something else, good timing, uh, one thing that I had a problem with that slowed me down that I said no big deal, which probably was a big deal, is not transporting enough planks. Uh, for one, I should have an additional boat on this line. That's what I should have done a long time ago. I didn't. That could help. I'm also looking for you guys' suggestions. Or who knows, we might win the day, secretly get all the medals, and uh, I'm not going to complain. Because complaining is no bueno. 685 passengers have made it through. More and more people waiting for line two. Uh, you go ahead and turn around, buddy. No? No path? All right, fine. Just wait. I wanted to turn around and pick up that one person who's, like, right there going, Come on, man. You can't even go anywhere, train. Yet you don't bring me any friends. Ooh, 69, folks. Pop that to 754. Passengers heading in both ways. I'm actually not sure where that cutoff is, but let's watch it. Where does it count? Maybe it's when they get out of the tunnel? No? 
maybe it counted both of these trains like as soon as they went in the tunnel. I figured it wouldn't count it until they're all the way out. But that does not seem to be the case, but that's machines. That's for one wise. For onesies, 782. Come on up. How you doing? You got 28 folks in your caboose. We're going to have 55 heading this way. And 81 heading this way. Two or three more passes here, and I think we're going to get it. Using this tunnel, I have never done the English to French channel uh, at all. Never been to France. 918. Hmm. I mean, unless you count Euro Truck Simulator, then I did a little bit of uh, this transfer. But I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna count that, and you guys shouldn't either. Don't give me that. Make me work for it. Um, what do we got here? Oh, we're just held up because you know the machines. They're gonna take over. It is 1993. Dunkirk doing well. All right, glad to hear it. Let's drop these folks off, add on to the numbers. I still haven't caught when the number actually adds up when they go in the tunnel, when they get dropped off, picked up. It's magic, but I'm not going to complain. Guys, end of Europe. I'm, I'm sure if we don't get the five medals, we're going to have a recap, like a, a redo kind of thing. Um... But I haven't recorded Transport Fever for a long time, so I'm going to put this up no matter what, even if we get four out of five. That ain't too shabby. Monty makes mistakes. It happens. I don't play to be perfect. I play for the fun of it. Oh, my goodness. We got all five medals. I play for being perfect. Whatever. No. <laughs> Three, four Steam achievements. Campaign tycoons. I, there was too many to read. They all popped up at the bottom. I don't think they recorded. But Activity in the Tunnel got way excited all of a sudden. Who would have thought it? The hive of activity under the English Channel, the Iron Lady, is mighty proud of us. Let's let's return to the main menu and have a discussion, folks. Because something just happened. November 14th, 19... Congratulations, you have finished the Europe campaign. I love it. You give me a happy... I don't remember that for the America campaign. Woo! Look at this. Golds... All around. The century is drawing to a close. Look at America. A land of Look at America. Gold. Solid gold. All right, guys. We did it. Let's stop listening to Mr. America. America. Because I just... Let's calm down. Guys, really enjoyed it. Transport Fever. Had a blast. Remember Monty Acres when we started before the game was even official released? I might even continue that a little bit as what we do over the summer as we wait for transport fever 2 the hype can now begin the campaign is complete moving on forward it's all about transport fever 2 guys go watch the trailer i'm going to post it down in the comments below but guys thanks for hanging out for all of the campaign um really thought we were going to have to do a little uh flashback into uh what we have uh, going on there. Totally distracted by the reflection of the bus and trying to figure out what that city is. And um, anyway, if you guys know, let me know. Uh, had a blast with uh, the series here. This is our third, like, complete, complete. We did the hard mode series, which was complete America campaign and Europe campaign. Money Acres is always, like, that's like the never-ending story of Transport Fever. So I'm going to be back to that one, I believe, um, again, had, had plans for a all-star modded series where it's a, it's a game where I can only use mods from the Steam Workshop and they have to be max star, which I believe is a five-star rating. So, I mean, there's some good ones that are unfortunately on their way up in the rankings, but that's why I'm glad I waited like two years or so. But again, I waited so long that now Transport Fever 2 is going to be on the way and I can tell you what, don't you guys worry when that game comes out, it's going to be my top played game on Steam. I'm calling it. 
unless everything falls apart, which it won't. These guys have been rocking it since Train Fever. So constant updates, looking forward to more. I was kind of hoping for a Transport Fever expansion, you know, like um, how Train Fever had the DLC for America. Um, what was nice is Transport Fever kind of came with that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You guys see the little hints at the end of the Transport Fever 2 trailer of, uh, like, the tropical lands and stuff? Anyway, oh, spoilers, spoilers, I should say that. No, it's just a trailer. Go watch it. Thanks again for watching. This video has gone on long enough. I will catch you next time. And uh, thanks, everyone, who's followed along throughout the whole campaign. If you're just joining in, feel free to leave a comment. And I'm always checking my YouTube channel. And uh, make sure to give me a follow on Twitter at Monty Games. That's all of uh, my social media talking. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please like, please subscribe, all those good things. Monty Plays Games, saying goodbye, and have a great day. <laughs>